day I just got in my Ely iStick 50 watt. So do a little unboxing. I can use it for a few days and give a review on it. It's kind of hard to find in stock. And a lot of other reviewers are getting them, like this ordering them or getting them just complimentary. But um, I found a place, Origin Vape. Manhattan. I'm in upstate New York, so I figured, all right, that's close enough and be worth getting it. Uh, they're a little more expensive than normal at $54.99 for the kit, which I think is probably about five, six dollars above what most people are selling it for. And being in New York, I had to pay sales tax and six dollars priority, even though it's coming pretty close. I wanted it soon. So they had it in stock, and they're originvape.com. And uh, they're very nice, called them on the phone to confirm that they had it because they showed that they had every color in stock. Um, they ordered the silver, and uh, I wanted to make sure that it was true before I ordered it, and then found out, well, maybe it's back ordered, and it's going to take a while, and I'm going to pay them for it, but they did have it, and then uh, I got it pretty quick. Yep, silver. So that's the iStick 50 watt. Um, I've already used somewhere the 30 watt most of the time. Um, so 50 watt is pretty much the same thing. The main difference is, from what I understand, uh, are um, where this is 30 watt, it's 50 watt, obviously. Uh, where this sub ohms down to 0.4, uh, this goes down to 0.2, I believe. Um, and then the battery. Uh, this is 2200 milliamp hour. Everybody keeps saying 2200 ma battery. Uh, I don't understand that. It bugs me. It's a pet peeve because you wouldn't say I have a 2 tub hard drive. You'd say I have a 2 terabyte hard drive. Well, it's 2200 milliamp battery. I believe it's 2200. This one is a 4400. Um, when you're vaping at 10 15 watts, uh, the iStick 30, easy a day, day and a half, you're you know, a 10 watt vapor, uh, you get two full days out. It's beautiful. Once you start doing 25 30 watts, you get a couple hours. Um, so this is double the battery. Hopefully, this will last me a whole day. I'm doing 25 watts. Um, I'll have to see the light there. Also, much difference in size and weight, of course, the batteries. Um, so, height wise, slightly bigger, um, slightly wider, a little bit thicker. Um, buttons are all on one side on here, up, down, power. On here, it's up, down, power, and uh, your charger is now in the back instead of underneath, which is kind of annoying because you want to use it as a pass-through. You can't put it down if you're uh, using a drip tank, so you, know, you don't want to lean it sideways. Uh, with this, um, it's on the side, so you can still lay this flat once you do it. Um, I agree with a few other people who have said this would have been much nicer if this was near the bottom. So obviously you want to hold this. I think it's not too bad like that, but you're gonna, if you're holding it like this, you're going to have the um, charging cable coming out the side. It would just be nice if it was coming out the bottom. I think that would be a, a little better. Uh, looks like the same kind of finish on here, um, pretty much exactly the same. I'm not much into the aesthetics. I know most people, uh, you know, want it to look nice, want their mod to look really cool. That really doesn't bother me much. I prefer good battery, functions well, does what it's supposed to, um, controls, easy to use, reliable, good price. Um, but, you know, like with the uh, 30 watt, probably won't show up too well here, but there's a few little nicks and scratches after, uh, I don't know, I guess about three weeks of using it. Um, nothing that unless you were looking for it, or if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't see it. Um, so this is probably going to have the same problem there. Um, they're pretty simple, all the eye sticks. Uh, it's uh, simply, basically you're toggling your wattage or voltage. Um, you can uh, press the power, if it's, if it's the same as the 30 watt, three times uh, on your fire button, you can press it three times to toggle between volts and uh, watts five times turn toggles on and off holding the up down button uh, together for I think two or three seconds will lock it a certain wattage so you don't actually or voltage so you don't accidentally hit it that's pretty much it um, go on see in there but basically you got your basic display tells you your power setting it seemed to come right at uh, 50 watts there uh, so I'm going to knock that down And um, that's about it. I'll use it for a few days and uh, let you know what I think if I find anything else about it. But that's the unboxing of the iStick 50 watt sub -home.
Please be sure to follow my videos and uh, comment below. Thank you. But in unboxing, I normally don't do unboxings because to me, what's in the box is what's in the box. I want to know how something works, how it functions, any problems with it, benefits, pros, cons. Um, but uh, on this, what else was in the box? Just going to add in there is your obvious charger. Um, and then they're going to have a, a cable in here and your adapter. Use. And that's it. I right, just wanted to add that in there. Okay, so I've been using the iStick 50 watt for a little while now and I uh, want to give you my impressions of it. Um, overall, it's a great device, of course, for the price 50 watts down to 0 0.2 sub ohms. I'm very happy with it. Um, came set at 50 watts. Um, it um, when scrolling, it doesn't go, it doesn't uh, wrap around at the end, uh, which is actually nice. I like that. I like to know if I want 50, I can just hold it up without staring at it. It goes straight up to 50. Um, so I like that. Um, uh, the display can be reversed uh, when it came to me. To turn it off by five clicks. And while it's off, you think it's off, but it's really not because the other buttons are still working, obviously. That will reverse the display. Do that again here. And that reverses the display. Um, there's no more batter, no more rattle on the button with the 30. That rattled a lot. You don't have that with this at all, which is very nice. Uh, it's very solid. Um, not weighing it, but I'd say it's about double the weight. It makes sense since it's double the battery, so it's very nice uh, for that. Um, I've been using it. I don't know, I guess uh, maybe 20 hours and uh, not straight, you know, um, the whole afternoon yesterday, a couple hours this morning, um, I've gone here and the battery is still at uh, almost full. I'd say that's probably 90%, 80%. They're not giving it a true percentage there, um, but it's lasting and that's at pretty much 20, 25 watts of vaping constantly. So it, it, the battery is wonderful. So overall it feels great, solid, uh, same finish as before. Um, the only downsides that I found to it, which was real strange to me, um, as you can see here with um, the dripper, it sits flush, looks fine, it's very nice. When I take this tank off, I'll get a juice hole in myself here. I noticed when I put on Kanger sub tank full size with the uh, beauty ring if you want to call it or you know it just tapers down pull my hands here a little bit which tapers down um, the width of the tank to make it fit a little bit or look a little better. Well when I put that on so you can see that it's in my shirt there that's as far as it goes. You can see the gap in there. So I thought maybe it was the the ring. So I don't really use those rings normally because it's for aesthetics and I'm not too concerned with how, how it looks uh, in terms of fitting perfectly. So if you take the Kanger sub tank and you try it without that ring. That's pretty much snug. It's better, but there is still very hard to see in there. There's still a little gap. It's hard to see with this. It's certainly not as much with just the tank, but um, with that little ring there is. Now, using that ring, putting that on the iStick 30, you don't get that at all. It's perfectly flush. That's hard to focus. It's perfectly flush. It's nice. So that would tell me that the um, threading isn't as deep on the 50 watt as it is on the 30. Obviously, it's so slight you're not going to notice it cosmetically just by looking at it. Um, but obviously, it has to be a little bit less. There's just no other, no other explanation. It's not fitting in as well. 
It's not a big deal, but um, maybe they did that so that it doesn't rub up against it and end up scratching uh, the top base, which I haven't noticed happening even on the 30 watt. I haven't noticed any scratching there, uh, but maybe they did that deliberately, or maybe it was just a slight change in design that uh, uh, they didn't anticipate that, that issue. Um, one other thing, which even though it's aesthetics, it does bug me. I'm going to show it to you some pictures. Um, is the display inside is not perfectly, it's not really centered. Because what happens is, you won't see it too well there, but if you see the battery, if I show it to you that way, it's fine. If I try and put it perfectly straight, look at that. You see the bottom, I know it's out of focus, but you see the bottom corner of the battery is actually cut off there. And if you tilt it ever so slightly, the battery will just fade away. You can't see it. Um, it seems like the display is shoved to the left side a lot more when it was a lot more room on the right that they could have done. And I'm going to show it to you in the pictures right now. Um, that's my only issues that I've noticed with it. Otherwise, it's a wonderful device for the $50 price range to go down to, uh, for the 4,400 milliamp hour battery. Um, overall, it works great. Like I said, I've been making 20 to 25 watts on it uh, with a drip tank and a Kanger uh, full-size um, sub-tank, and the battery is only down the slightest little slit uh, that they can show there, so I haven't had to even charge it yet. So I'm really curious to see how much I'll get out of this. I'll get the whole day today as well. Um, uh, which would be wonderful, uh, which was the main reason I wanted it for battery life because uh, you know this does start to die fast when you're when you're doing 25 watts. Um, wonderful device, absolutely recommended if you can find them. They are seeing a little hard to find in stock. Um, certain places like uh, Vapor DNA have it in stock, but they only had the uh, Fuchsia, I believe. Um, I got this from. Origin Vapes, um, they actually had them all in stock, apparently a few dollars more than normal, but uh, they did have them. Um, and it's currently a Chinese New Year, so a lot of those suppliers are telling me that they won't have any shipments until uh, that end, so not until probably you know, the first or second week of March um, before they start getting theirs in. Um, but overall, it's a wonderful device, highly recommend it. Um, you can see that gap still, that's bugging me a little bit there, there is a little bit of a gap in there. Um, and I don't want to force it down, obviously. You, know, you just want to tighten it just, just to where it's slightly snug. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that uh, you know, holding it like this way, it's when there's light behind it, you can see the gap in there. A little strange. That and, and if the battery is off-centered, I don't know if that's actually a design um, or if that was just the screen is not attached properly, if that's quality control. Uh, hopefully not. Um, maybe it's just mine. Don't know if anybody else. Actually, no, I've seen... Uh, some other reviews where I've seen when they showed it, they didn't mention that, but it was off-centered, the same as mine. So I did see that in at least one other uh, video. Um, but that's it. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and uh, put any comments below. Have a great day.